Hey guys, Spring Prey here, and welcome to the eighth episode of my Let's Play of European Universe Lollies 4 as Byzantium. And if you couldn't have told, or if you didn't notice, I've actually done all eight of these episodes in one day. Uh, I'm on vacation now, probably. This is like probably one of my last days, actually. It's Thursday, and I am on vacation at the beach. So that's why I'm doing all these in one day, so if you'll notice my beard is like not changed. And if, it's, it's a little beard. You probably can't even see it. It's like really small. But uh, if you can, it has not changed, and that's because I've been doing all these episodes in one day. So if, please excuse me if I'm a little tired. It's like, I, so this is going to be the, like, going to wrap up and I'll be doing, this is four hours straight that I've been recording, so, I mean, not much for most people, but it's a, it's a little bit of an extreme amount for me this time in my life. Usually I only record for about two hours a night, but uh, this, I have to get it all in today because, you know, I'm going on vacation, of course. Uh, base tax? Oh, shit. Go, go help them. Uh, let's do that. Alright, now hopefully we'll get the defended their lands bonus. Oh, we should have let them lose, damn it. Uh, well, whatever. But we tried so hard and got so far, but in the end it didn't even really matter. Oh well, our Cuspilly will go away. You know, whatever, fuck this. Let's just go, let's just declare war on them and annex them. I don't even care, really. We'll just pump up our stability after this. We have to stop uh, trade power. Can't we have to cancel that? And military access. I don't know if we have to revoke theirs or not, though. I know we have to cancel ours. And we'll probably just annex them, because there's, like, we have hardly any aggressive expansion really as it is right now, so. I'm not trying to waste much on it. Clear war, come on. Oh. Yeah, you're not going to get an alliance that quick, dude. Oh wait, not for me. Oh god, can't imagine if I had done that. We have a truce? Are you kidding me? Really? For what? When? Oh, well, we can do this idea then. Let's get these guys out of there. I didn't even realize they were taking attrition and shit. Stupid Hungarian or, you know, Balkan mountain terrain shit. Split them up, I guess. God, will this guy ever finish? Jesus. Check up the Diplo. Now build an embassy. That's going to be something good to save up for. Let's top off France. Could also improve things with Poland. Especially since they desire our provinces, you know? Remind the knights of their duty. Heh! <laughs> no. More patriarch authority so we can convert these things. And they hopefully won't take eternity. What you doing over here, France? Switzerland, Württemberg, and Ferrara? Hmm. You don't want to call me into that? I could help.
Let's send these guys over here. It's too expensive. Fuck that. So what do we need to build that embassy? I think it's like a thousand. Yeah, a thousand twenty-six. That's fine. We can we can save up that. How much money do we make per month? Six, seven. Yeah, we'll we'll get there eventually. Our manpower is increasing steadily. That's nice. How, do we need any? Yeah, good. Three hundred twenty men each month. If we raise our taxes all the way, oh, I'd, I'd rather gain seven per month and get all that manpower back more quickly. That's, I, I don't mind the trade-off. Let's do harsh treatment here. Oh, okay. Violence never solved anything. I really could. Pr I would really prefer the admin points at the moment. Sorry. Well, so I guess we have to improve their situation. Damn it. Uh, Raskisa is also Catholic, but of course it's more than like one base tax, so we're never going to be able to convert that shit. Even with our patriarch authority like maxed, we're still going to have issues converting. Hmm, do I want the money? Yeah, I want the money more. We don't need the extra points either, because we're already like, we're going to max out soon, in a second. Let's change to admin. I guess we could dis- uh, But I don't want to waste admin getting the stability back. If we, if we get in a, an event with this plus stability, then uh, we'll take it, but and then we'll this man or get rid of our relationship with Croatia. But if um if not, then we'll just deal. Wow! So they got a lot of Adal, Yemen, Ethiopia, stuff like that. Whew. Some rebels over here, apparently. I like how Genoa still has these sh the shit over here. It's hilarious. It's because they're allied with Lithuania. It's a good alliance for them. Let's see how much trade power do we have now. Oh, nice. So we probably don't really need to uh, patrol much in here anymore. And we'll probably, we'll probably get more out of it from patrolling over there. We now get seven ducats a month from that, which is fantastic. It's awesome. Our truce with Croatia has got two more years on it, sadly. And how much longer do we have on our thing with Hungary? 1528? Let's improve relations with them. Might as well get that up to max, too. I love the Byzantium like uh, random events that keep happening. They're really nice. And we're almost done doing Albania, which is nice also. Ooh, look at that. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. All right, so let's uh, all right, we'll take that, and then we're gonna get rid of our thing with uh, Croatia. We'll break our royal ties. Oh, 
It didn't even cost us a stability. Oh, sweet. So I thought it... Uh, oh, I guess that's different for Orthodox. Sweet. That's nice. So as soon as our truce is over, then we'll just go and X them. Uh, I mean, yeah, but are you sure? Are you sure you want me to do this? Like, do I have to? You know, that's where you know all those troops are over here, right? All the army is over here, and I have to deal with this shit. Not you, you asshole, Fran. I, I guess I kind of did this to you, as um earlier, so. Well, I guess our truce is gone now. Damn it, France. You're always messing my shit up. So I guess Genoa declared a war they shouldn't have. Whatever, we're not gonna help. Fuck them. They can do whatever the hell they want. As soon as we're done, we're declaring war on Croatia, and we're going to invade them and kill them. And take all their stuff. Back to making money. And we can actually make more money, because I'm going to put war taxes on. Oh, shit. Really? 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 Do we have to? Please? Don't make me do this. Uh, fine, Jesus, we'll kill them. We'll get the we'll get the prestige back from fighting Lithuania right now. Let's go get him over here. Do we have another leader we can put over here? Ah, oh, shit, I should have used the idea and then done it. Oh well. Let's go kill the other Lithuanian army. We will surely show them. Let's go and attack, I guess, Baden. It's getting attacked here. Well, we will show them the error in their ways. Can we cross here? Yes, we can. We could take a uh, yes in. No. Where's the damn uh, Ukraine? Is it? It's still up. It's like up there. Huh. Well, we could core this one and then take this one and release to Ukraine. I uh, don't know. Ah, uh, probably not. That'd be kind of a waste. Anyways, we're done. We're just gonna defend. Not even gonna let us have money, bastards. Well, I mean, uh, Hungary should be able to defend themselves. Let's like make sure that we don't have the attached to this unit thing on. On either of them.
Yay, we can do the uh, stability cost goes down. Fantastic. And then this one's also going to give us stability cost going down. So stability will be very, very cheap, which is going to be very nice for us, of course, because cheap stability means that we can keep on doing what we're doing more. Especially when we get lo lose a little stability all the time because of stupid these dumb events. How far ahead are we? Jesus Christ. Five years and it's still... Okay, Dalmatia, bye-bye. I'd like to take the less aggressive expansion. What? A truce again? What the fuck? Croatia. There is no truce. There is no fucking truce with you. Breaking trees. Well, what the fuck? There is no truce. There is no damn truce. Ooh, the truce will expire with Croatia. Why? What? are you talking about? I do not see my face here at all. My flag is not there. You freaking asshole game. This is lies, I tell you, lies! Oh well, it's probably a glitch. I, I hope that the Paradox, you know, I, they'll probably take care of it. I would assume. You know, they should. They should. They know what's up. I bet you it'll be next patch. They'll probably. They're usually really good at taking care of important things like this, where it's like actually sort of hurting the game. I mean, I don't even. I don't mind having a truce. Like, I can understand maybe, like, since we were in a war together, that they don't like want us being able to fight each other right afterwards. It's kind of dick move, you know. But still. So am I going to do Poduero or Colburn? I think I'd rather have that one. But at least the truce is only going to last like a couple months. I think this is when it was supposed to be over, but I don't know. I mean, it kind of went away, the truce that we had earlier, so... Whatever. As long as it doesn't like pop up again, something weird like that, then we'll be alright. And Milan should not take over war leadership, but even if they do, they're not allied with anybody scary besides France. But France likes us better, I think. Yeah, so Croatia maintains leadership in the war, and it looks like their allies abandoned them. Perfect. We'll just annex them. Or should we annex them, or should we vassalize them? Because it's going to be admin points or diplo points, and I kind of would rather spend diplo points. So I guess we'll end up vassalizing them. We'll also force our religion on them. So as soon as I already accept that, how much does that like cost us? Thirty-seven points. Okay, I'll go ahead and tech up then. We make enough points per month that we should be able to do that before we finish the sieging. And the naval morale is important. No. You know what we want, Croatia. We want you to be our vassal, like we were trying to get you to do earlier. And it's just that we couldn't get you to the right amount of points because we had some dumb causes belly on you because I picked a stupid mission. But I guess, I mean, we're going to at least get the mission now. So that's nice. Yeah, I think I'd rather get money.
As soon as as soon as the siege is over, we're we're ready to do this. There's no nothing after that to wait for. So we'll just crush this siege really quickly. Looks like I'm I'm not gonna rush this like siege over there because you know we've already, we've already got issues with manpower. So losing any more manpower for any reason really is pretty unacceptable. Unacceptable. But at least after we do this, there's they're already going to be converted, so we don't even have to really worry too much. They're already the walls are busted. No. I take nothing. I'm not taking anything less than everything, Croatia. So quit your bitching. We'll probably get it in like. It doesn't even matter really, because we're just gonna eventually we will get it, and Croatia will become ours eventually. And we'll complete our mission to vassalize them, which is nice. Ooh, look at that. They have more money now. Fantastic. Please, Croatia, get all the money you can before so we can take it from you. And then we'll be a little closer to building our embassy. I wonder if building our embassy would be better or if we built the... Um, if we just built up a massive fleet. But no, because the fleet's going to need to be replaced anyways. At least the embassy will be staying up forever. Okay, there we go. All done, Siege. Now, calm down, Croatia. It's all going to be better now. It's all going to be better now. I guess we'll waste a little bit of money since it was for the mission, and we kind of got that money from them anyways, so... Or from, you know, Croatia. They paid for it, really. Alright, and then we'll royal marriage them as well. It's gonna take a while to get our relations up enough, but I'd rather spend... Uh, time and diplo points on it then spend any admin points because those religious ideals are way 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 too important to sacrifice I mean even though Dalmatia is kind of only like five base tax it's still gonna be a big savings admin point wise but yeah we are strong no more Ottomans it's very weird to not see the Ottomans on here car coin lose really strong that's really weird uh, Azerbaijan. Is that our culture? No. Okay. Why fight? Will they fight instead? I don't know. Will they? I don't... I don't know. The maintenance modifier guy will pay for himself, so he might as well get that one. I guess I'll take that. Poland wants us to fight against the Livonian Order of the Hands. Ah, eh, fuck. Fine. I guess. Looks like Austria came, so yeah, they're they're fine. We're not gonna help though. They'll do it themselves. Whew. Who exactly are we fighting against here? Muscovy, really? I mean, like, Muscovy really is the only thing we're fighting against. That's fine. Sweet! So, yay, we gained from army tradition. If the Mamluks have 41, and I guess we could do that, but I, I don't want to try that now. Yes! Missionary Strength plus 3, holy shit, thank god. Okay, now we can do anything, pretty much. And plus with the 55% of Patriarch Authority, we should convert shut really fast. Let's see, how fast is this going to be? Like 4 years? Not even that bad. Okay. Now, can we convert Sunni? That's the question. 
Well, we might as well improve relations with them down here. So that we can integrate them soon enough. Yeah, it looks like they're doing alright up there. Austria is kind of messing them up. Let's see. But the, the shitty part is that Muscovy is the leader. So it's going to be difficult for them to do anything. As far as us going, though... Hmm, it seems like we... Uh, What's the war for? Polish conquest of Camelo? Oh, isn't this like a Polish province anyways? Yeah, its culture is Polish. I don't know why they have it in the first place. Pomerania is doing pretty good up here. So is Brandenburg, jeez. They're like just as good as we are. They got the Conquer Silesia mission though, that's not probably gonna have be a little bit difficult for them. Who's who's fighting over here? Saxony is fighting with Frankfurt, Cleves, and Cologne. Cologne is fighting with just Saxony and Bavaria, so yeah, they're probably gonna lose. Oh no, military leader, we needed him. Not really. We're okay. We're gonna be able to achieve religious unity now, so let's take that mission. We can become defender of the faith, though. We're saving up for that embassy, so we can have another diplomat. Way more important. Venice is still our rival, but I don't know why. A little papal state, maybe we can get them to uh, be our vassal? Let's just improve relations with them and see. Um, they, the, they, they have Rome, so they're probably a little bit... But once we have Dalmatia, we might be able to fabricate claims on them. And then we could just annex them. They're allied with Poland. That's the only. That's their only scary ally is Poland. So since we're already in a war with Poland, we might be able to do that quickly. Yeah, it's too bad we don't have any Casas Belli on them. Let's redo that royal marriage real fast. France, I love you. Please send me a royal marriage request so I don't have to get one of these guys back. Well, I guess this guy in Austria is not doing anything. Yay! I love you too, France. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'd rather have the temple than a weak heir. That's fine, we're 54. Hopefully we can just poop out a strong heir, at least. That's my only hope. And we also got a royal marriage with Croatia, so hopefully we can do that too. Well, the hands are getting pretty powerful out there. We could become Defender of the Faith. Does that um, give us more missionary strength? It gives us another missionary, however, it does not increase missionary strength. So I think it would be kind of a waste. Increasing our Patriarch Authority, on the other hand, is going to be more beneficial, I believe. Uh, Kosovo... Where's Kosovo? Shit. Oh, I guess that's where it is. Let's pay for our army for a minute. While they get over there. It's just peasants, so they should just, just demolish them. Pretty one-sided, that should be. Oh no, we have a port blockaded. I guess we have one of our vassals up there doing a good job. An alliance over from Austria. Oh, Austria! <laughs> I love you too, Austria. Why such a sudden change of heart? I guess they, their desire of my provinces went down maybe a little bit. 
Or maybe since we're in war together. Yes, more patriarch authority. I'll, I'll lose the tax as long as we can convert shit. And the revolt risk is going to be nice too. Plus manpower. I mean, manpower for taxes sounds like a good deal to me. We're still making plenty of money anyways, so it's not like it's that huge of a disc mount, or blah, 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 discount that we're getting from it, so. Let's see, hey Muscovy, I would take like a shitload of cash <laughs> if you wanted to give me that. You got the cash. We'll see if we can, oh we can't do because we're too minor, major, we can't do piecing out with them. Just 140 bucks, Muscovy, that's how much it costs to get me out of this war. Even though I'm not doing anything. Well, my vassals are, but still, you know. You know, you know, you know, you know, bruh. Ooh, Muscovy, hey, that's your army. <laughs> look at them. Look at our, look at Austria being like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. And then Muscovy's like, oh, god damn it. We thought we had the jump on them. But they came and got us, boys. Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Oh, poor, poor Scottish peasants. Can you walk? I am so, I, like, I know in Europe, in, in Victoria too, you can walk between these two provinces here, but can you walk between these two provinces in Europe? I don't think so. Yeah, so they're just going through, piecing out one by one. But they're still fighting, probably, Teutonic Order. Yeah. That's the most important one, really. And they probably have plenty of war score to get what they want, so I would not doubt uh, that we're going to see them get what they want within the next couple minutes. Oh man, I'm so tempted to spend all my money right now and just use it to build more ships. But I know I, I really want to get that. I really, really want to be uh, have a th th four diplomats. So that's going to be really crucial to you know spreading our influence around correctly. Especially once we start getting more vassals over here and having to improve relations with people. Ugh. Improve relations with the Papal State? Okay. Well, at least they kind of like us now. Well, we can fabricate on Ancona. Let's do that. And then hopefully we'll get the claim before the war is over. And then I don't believe that Poland can come in against us. France wants us to come to the French subjugation of Lorraine. That's weird. I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, I bet you since we came... Oh, no, they're fighting Austria, but we're not fighting Austria. Strange. This is very strange. But also convenient. Let's build some... Uh, we're going to need to build some cogs. They might not be done... They might not get done for the war, papal, war with Papal State, but... I mean, we'll still need them in the long run anyways, and it's impor more important than the embassy is right now. So let's get rid of those guys. Um, let's, uh... You can continue controlling Crimea, but the, uh, the other fleet we need to come and fight with the Papal State. Papal State is allied with Corsica. Shit. Well... Okay, that's fine. Because I'd really like to vassalize Rome. Because, you know, we're, we are Byzantium. Rome is our ancient brother home. And restoring the Pentarchy would be great. What are we doing right now? Oh, our mismatch of faith. How long do we have until that uh, is converted? Ragasa. Oh, it's almost done. Sweet. So we'll get that done. That's nice. Uh, let's go to uh, Lika so we can just write, like, drop our boats right across. And it'll be nice and fast.
So I just hope that uh, Poland doesn't peace out, because I'd rather not fight against Poland. I'm going to agree to their demands. And we're going to get the uh, tolerance. So yeah, we, we have really cheap stability now, which is great. Especially for such a sprawling empire like we're going to have. We're going to have a lot of issues, probably. Yeah, we're going to try to improve our prestige. Sounds great. The Bahamas? The Bahamas? Sick. Oh, i never even seen that religion before. Sick. Anyways, let's keep on going. We got our cogs done. Hooray, cogs. Religious civil disorder. Oh, there's all Protestants now. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucks though for us, because we're... Probably gonna start getting provinces, pro Protestants too. Come on! Fuck. Oh. That's fine. As long as we're still in this with Poland. Poland accepted peace. Okay, that's fine. I mean, Poland is not super powerful. Uh, I think we should be able to take on the Papal State, regardless. Let's see, uh, we're almost there. But anyways, guys, that's going to about do it for this episode. I know it's uh, the last episode for the week, but next week we'll come back and we will take over Rome, hopefully. At least vassalize Rome. Anyways, see you guys then. Spray and pray out.